So I, I have a respect for Comic Sans for that reason. Um, and also, it, um, it has a little bit of style, you know? It's a little bit interesting. Um, I wish it wasn't a meme, though. Like, I think I'd like it more if it wasn't a joke. See, I feel like you're a font, um, you're like a font enthusiast, you know? You, like, really care about your fonts. Whereas I feel like, for me, Comic Sans is S tier because of the meme, you know? B tier besties. B tier besties. besties. <laughs> Do you like how I said it that time? Yeah, we, we both said besties, like old time's sake. Uh huh. Simultaneously. Not really. Simultaneously. Yeah, it was. It, it seemed you... simultaneous on my end. Oh really? On mine, it was very mm -hmm. far off. But may, hopefully, yours is the correct one. Um, yeah. Today we are doing a font tier list. <laughs> yeah, we're talking fonts. There's mm -hmm. there's a wide variety. A lot that we're not including. We tried to include the iconic ones. You know, you got your Comic Sans, your Papyrus, but also more normal ones like Arial, Times New Roman. Um, they're all in their font, I think, unless I did it wrong. So you can see exactly what we're rating when we rate them. True. And um, I just want to preface this by saying that I don't know how I feel about these fonts. Yeah. So, but I'm excited mm -hmm. to see them, you know. Let's start with Arial. Hmm. It's like the default on Google Docs, right? Yes. That is correct. I like it. I think Ariel is pretty good. You know, I like it too. I would say though, like B tier for me, or maybe A tier. Um, I'm thinking maybe A tier. Um, yeah, I like A tier. It's not an offensive I'm, font. It's nice. They say that um, sans serif fonts are easier to read than serif fonts. Um, I thought aren't they better for titles or something? Maybe, I don't know. I always do aerial titles. Put some information with, on screen. Yeah. I always do aerial titles mm -hmm. with Times New Roman text. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure though I, I attended like a I attended like a lecture the other day. Uh, <laughs> the other day. Um, and I uh, that's an ongoing joke for people who are Yeah, how long ago was, how long videos. ago was it actually? Like this one was like five maybe years. two weeks ago. This okay. one's two weeks ago. Okay. Um and uh, it uh, was talking about how sans serif was better. But mm. I don't know. I don't have the details. Yeah, well, clearly not. It's clearly not that important, if you didn't remember. Calibri, though, is just a worse version of Arial. Like, they look basically the same. But, like, I don't know. Yeah, it's less never, there's never really a point to using it. Mm -hmm. but it's also not horrible, it's like, in my mind. This multiple versions of it too. There's a like Calibri body and Calibri whatever. They're yeah. all the same. It just it makes it annoying because sometimes you get inconsistencies. Yeah, it's just like slightly bolder or something. Mm -hmm. I would say like C tier. I'm okay with C tier. C for Calibri. Calibri. Which Comic isn't to say Sans. C for Comic Sans because this is an S tier font. So are you serious or are you joking? I don't actually know what I think. <laughs> but I, I enjoy looking at it for the sake of the meme. So I heard that Comic Sans, when it was made, it was, it was designed for like really old computers with like very low um, resolutions. And so like, it was actually like a better font for those low resolution computers than like Times New Roman or whatever, because like of how it's drawn. Um, gotcha. So I, I have a respect for Comic Sans for that reason. Um, and also, it, um, it has a little bit of style, you know? It's a little bit interesting. Um, I wish it wasn't a meme, though. Like, I think I'd like it more if it wasn't a joke. Like, I wish there was more fonts that had personality that weren't just jokes, you know? See, I feel like you're a font... Um, you're, like, a font enthusiast, you know? You, like, really care about your fonts. Whereas I feel like, for me, Times New Ro Or not Times New Roman, Comic Sans is S-tier because of the meme, you know? Whereas if it sure. didn't have a meme attached to it, it would be like, what's the point of it? You know, it would be like any other font. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. What, where would you want to put it? Do I put it in A tier? Sure. I like A tier. Well, there you go. Mm -hmm. 
I think below. I feel it would be a, a little uh, mean if we put above Ariel. Sure. You know? I'm just happy it's there, you know. Yeah. Career new. Ooh, see, this is a font that I actually have opinions about. And I'm Ooh, a fan. Ooh, what's your opinion? I'm a fan. Cause You're a I, fan? I like the way it's. it seems like old-timey in some ways. It looks like the kind of... Is it of, monospace? What does that mean? Like, are all the characters the same width? I don't know. <laughs> no idea. Uh, it, it looks like it from the image. Like, the I seems to be roughly the same width as like, the R. Um, I can do... I'll look it up for you. Um, yes, it is. Ooh, I'm, I'm liking it more, too. I, th I imagine it to be the it kind of timey. writing you would see on like a, on like a typewriter kind of thing, and it seems yeah. like it's like a dear blank, you know, it's like a letter type font. So sometimes in like mm -hmm. I like doing it for like fancy, you know, fancy document type things, you know. Mm -hmm. So I actually like. So it. where would you put it then? I would say. I think A tier. I enjoy it. Okay, I'm down for A tier. Um, where are you thinking? I think above Comic Sans just because I actually like it. Sure. Not just for the meme. Mm -hmm. Helvetica? I think just solid B tier. It's better than Calibri, but like, is it, like, Ariel is just like more standard, so I like it more. Yeah, I agree. It's not really like, I never have, much for me. I never have a reason to pull out the Helvetica. No, I don't think I had heard of it until we started making this list. Oof, that's rough. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Helvetica. Impact. So is it bold all the time? <laughs> is that is that this thing? Yes. Feel? That's mm -hmm. like D tier. It's like the meme font, you know. This is you think D -tier. it's D tier? Why would I want this? Why don't I just make the other fonts bold? Because this is like, it's not only bold, but it's like large, you know. Yeah, I'm fine with D tier. <laughs> I just don't. I, I don't. I don't love it. I'll say that. I prefer down. Comic Sans as a meme font to Impact. Oh yeah. If I'm being honest. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Minecraft. So this is the font used in the Minecraft logo. I've seen things written in the Minecraft font, and it's actually kind of fun. Really. Yeah. Um, put some, like put like an image on the screen of like something typed in Minecraft font. Mhm. That's I pretty am, cool. That is pretty cool. I'm not even seeing it, but, but I'm it's just also imagining it. It's also like kind of a joke. It's not going to be taken seriously. Like, yeah. even, I guess comic stands from either, but like, I feel like this is just like, it's almost too much of a meme. Yeah. My vote would probably be like C tier. I'm thinking C tier as well. All right. Papyrus. I like the look eh. of this one, if I'm being honest. You, you do? Yeah, I like it. I mean, not like tons. But I think it's more interesting than like a Calibri, even a Helvetica. It's probably for me. It's probably B tier. But I think it's yep. it's kind of nice. I like the Y. I, I that, agree with that. The P. That, that that's a nice P style. Kind of nice. Very have you heard of one. Comic Papyrus, Nicholas? I have not. I believe Comic Papyrus is a real font, and it is a a little bit cursed. It's so Comic Sans and Papyrus combined. That sounds horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Put a, I'll put a picture on the screen of that. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Next, we got Times New Roman. Ooh. I think this is another B tier font. I'm not excited about it, but I mean, it's, it gets the job done as a serif font. Yeah, I don't know the difference, but I, I mean, I like Times New Roman enough. I use it to write all my papers, which also mm -hmm. means that I'm like kind of tired of it. But I would say top of B. Yeah. I'm thinking bottom of B for me personally. I think it's kind of not the most fun to look at. We could do middle. That's like fun. I mean, like it kind of hurts to eat. Or middle is compromised, you say? Yeah. Okay. Wingdings? So technically, this is webdings that I typed this in, but oh. either, either <laughs> of them. They're both the same, practically. Um, I'll put, and, a big, I'll put a bigger picture of wingdings or webdings on the screen because I feel like it's important to show mm -hmm. the true true depth of these characters. And it's just an F tier. You don't think it's a little bit funny? 
Eh, I guess so. It's just a D tier. Yeah, it's D tier. I think it's a little bit funny though. <laughs> so I'm. Its existence is good, but like. Eh. Yeah. I feel it's so overdone. There's a lot of like wingdings copycats at this point. True. And, like, I think everything should be done in braille. You know what braille is? Like like the thing that you feel with your hand. What? Is it, are you talking about like a braille font? I'm talking like um the dots. Yeah, the dots, the thing you feel. You feel those? Yeah. Isn't that for people who are blind? Oh. Maybe. <laughs> I think that makes sense, actually. Like the ridges. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that's cool, because you, you can also write it out as a font, and it's kind of like a secret code thing. I mean, it's not very, um, like, very translatable, but... Um, you know, in the in the Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, there's a Braille um, secret there. Ooh, like you have to solve a Braille fun. code to find legendary Pokemon. That's pretty exciting. Yeah. So Braille would be like B tier. I don't know why I'm talking about Braille, but it's good. If we're here, it'd be B. Zapfino? Zapfino. I feel like you really like this font. I... Used to love it. Now I'm like, eh, it's a, it's a little much. <laughs> it's like, I wish there was a good cursive font, but this is not it. This is like way over the top. Yeah, it's a bit much. Like, I could barely read that that says Zapfino. Mm -hmm. So I think it's C tier. It has its place, but it's, it's, a, it's going a little bit too far, you know. I think it's middle sure. C right here. This Agreed. might be our first tier list, not anything in S or anything in F. See, I feel like we've said that. I think maybe, yeah, maybe it's the first tier list without either. But we've definitely yeah. had stuff. We've definitely had a tier list without an S and one without an F. I think at the end of the day, there's not that wide of a range in fonts. So it feels wrong to put anything in S or F. Because it's just like, they don't vary that much. Yeah, I would agree. I think this mm -hmm. seems like, if somebody were to ask me where would you rank fonts, this seems like the appropriate you know, list. Nothing I mean, S, nothing people ever. probably would want us to put this here. But. Yeah. But I'm, yeah. I'm a Comic Sans defender. Yeah. Okay. Well, we hope you liked this video. Um, make sure to put some uh, suggestions in the form that's in the description. Um, leave a like. Make sure to subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Unless, Nicholas, you have any last words. No. <laughs> bye guys do all that stuff please thank you for watching bye besties tier b